everybody, it's Black Expect the Comics, and I'm here at the world famous Mile High Comics. Let's go inside and see what they have.
so hopefully you guys enjoyed some of that footage as you can see the store was huge um, millions upon millions of books there I think they had a little over 10 million books there not all of them obviously you can you know view because a lot of it's back in storage and they haven't sought through them and stuff like that but uh, you know that definitely aisles upon aisles of back issues you know wall books slabs encased books and so forth um it, it was just unbelievable the amount of books that they had there i've never seen so many books i felt like i was at a convention um for the people who have not been there before um a little bit of information they used to have more stores they were you know i guess scattered through colorado and they had some stores in uh california but um have since then just you know, closed those up and focused on that one warehouse uh, store, which is their current location. And um, it's kind of in a weird, weird location too in Denver, but um, pretty easy to get to. The, the place, like I said, is right off the highway. You, you can uh, easily see it. But, um, you know, the workers, they were very friendly. They had um, new comics there as well that, I, I, you know, you saw in the clip. But um, as for purchasing books, there wasn't, you know, at least from what I set, you know, saw walking around, uh, good deals, to, you know, to buy books. Um, they did have dollar bin books, and the books that were in there were tattered. They didn't have any bags or boards, um, so it wasn't really worth, you know, going through them and just searching for dollar bin books. Um, really cool statues for people who love statues figures they had this um really big podium area on the other side of the uh, store where you know they have like you know signings shows whatever the case may be so that was that was pretty neat um lots of lots of graphic novels and trade paperbacks but um i personally didn't find anything that i was worth purchasing off the wall or in the back issues, I uh, went through the new comic book day area, which was pretty small, and I was kind of surprised that, um, like, I guess the selection of new comics. Normally, I've been to smaller shops, and they've had a much larger new comic book day area, um, but theirs was pretty small. I was able to, um, and they had like I guess the last you know two three weeks of books there, which was nice. So I ended up finding one book there that I was actually pretty eager to find that I just have not seen anywhere from uh, going to shop to shop and uh, that was Animal Castle issue number one this is from a Blaze Comics um, pretty interested in reading that and uh, I did pay cover price <laughs> you know which was uh, $3.99 and then they had charged me a uh, dollar for uh, a bag and board so um, that was the only purchase I ended up getting there. Um, personally, I did not think it was worth purchasing any of the books there. As if you saw the prices that you know were on those books there, it was just ridiculous. Um, I, I don't know how, with the size of the store that it is, how they still manage to stay open for business because of the way the books are priced. Um, I saw basically like for example books for like $20 books that I could easily purchase on eBay that they had sticker prices of over $200 um, I don't know how to how they can justify that I don't know if that's kind of like that initial time that the book came in from a collection and they priced it off of I guess a potential like you know hot price of the week you know stick a price and then obviously because of the size of their inventory they can't reprice it and maybe they change the price at the uh, register for current prices if they do that I don't know I was kind of like appalled when I saw that price I was like I'm not gonna re realistically bring that book to the counter if he's charging two and change for the book for in the books twenty dollars online this is just one of the many examples I'm using and um, what was like to think that he was going to change the price to $20, you know? So I, I didn't even bother. I was looking for some Moon Knight books. I did find 
two uh, back issue Moon Knight books from Volume One, but I had already um, I already had those books in the collection. Um, didn't find any other books, and and even those books they were they were charging like fifty or so bucks for those uh, back issue books, and they're not worth that. So I was like, that's kind of ridiculous. And I was honestly when I brought this book up to the register, I'm surprised he didn't charge me what they were going for on eBay. So um, I'm, I'm glad that they honored the uh, new comic book day price. And um, just like some really big key books, like he had a, a Batman Adventures 12, you know, first Harley Quinn. Uh, the sticker price on there was $7,500. And <laughs> I was like, I don't know if that's, you know, what they were asking and what they expected to sell it for, whatever the case may be. Like, you can go on eBay right now and get a 9.8 for around 3500 That book was raw. I can get two of those. <laughs> but uh, another one was uh, like 2200 for an ASM 300. Both books are near mint, don't get me wrong. But no one's going to pay that, you know, in today's prices. Maybe down the road, but not in today's prices when you can easily buy them on whatever site you want for that you know, for that price, much cheaper. Um, so I was kind of appalled and like kind of disgusted by the prices. I uh, didn't do a lot of back issue bin, you know, hunting because I knew I wasn't going to find anything worth purchasing at the prices I wanted to pay for them. Um, would I personally go back? No. Um, it was cool to go there and just experience it because it is Mile High Comics. It is the largest comic shop in the world, to my knowledge. And, um, you know, being where I'm close to it right now, it, it was definitely worth checking it out. But knowing what I know now, I, I wouldn't go back unless there was like some signing or something like that. An artist or a writer that was going to appear and maybe I can get a book signed. But to purchase books from there, I wouldn't go back. This is so many shops in the area that I'd rather just give my money towards them. Um, but that was it. You know, that was my experience at Mile High Comics. If you guys have been there, write down in the comments below what you think. If you've purchased from them, um, whether it's online or in the shop, uh, let me know. All right. Until next time, Mark's with the Comics. Out.